Hello guys, it's Verzikten here. Today I have very interesting clips. Please enjoy and I'll see you on the next video. How's it going everybody? New hoodie? Um, yeah, I think Jody actually sent it to me a while ago and I, I couldn't find it uh, until recently, so I just got it. It's pretty much brand new, sort of-ish. Um, we are probably leaving soon to go to LA. Um, we're going to be going to Ludwigo's game show. And then also we're going to be going to uh, uh, either, I don't, I don't know which theme park. Everyone's hyping up Disneyland. I'm not sure which one we're going to. Because we're going to have to see which one, first of all, hopefully allows us to stream there. Um, and so I, I don't know. There's a lot of things we have to check. So I don't know exactly which one we're going to, but we'll be there. Uh, Universal might be universal also uh i don't know exactly i just know that we're hoping to be able to stream it did you hear about the drama um i think so some people are upset at ludwig for moving to youtube but i don't think i don't think there's anything wrong with that i mean um i think it's perfectly fine i think he made the right choice uh i don't know um right guys I i'm just gonna say it i know streaming's like a slightly different job but let's be honest, guys, if, if you're moving to YouTube, right, if someone, based on the video we saw, Ludwig posted it, right, it's kind of like, I don't know, you're getting offered more pay, less hours, and they actually seem to care about you a little more, and then for some people, people are upset that he's going to a job where he gets paid more, works less, and they appreciate him more, so I, I feel like that's pretty... Uh, it's yeah, I mean it's at the end of the day. It's a job. You guys are telling me you wouldn't take a job that does that I maybe Um, yeah, anyway, I I feel like uh, yeah, I feel like he probably made the right choice. I mean Where'd you get the hoodie? It's Jody's uh, she sent me one. It's pretty cool looking. I will say this though um, The quality reminds me of pokey's hoodie, which isn't a bad thing uh, But what I mean by that is it, it's not very soft and comfy um, Which isn't bad. I, I think it does it feels more durable um, same as Pokies. I think it's the same material if I were to guess. Um, so it, it feels durable, but it's not very soft and fuzzy feeling. Which isn't necessarily bad, but I just, you know, in case you guys are wondering what it feels like. It doesn't feel very much, uh, compared to Corpse Hoodie. I'd say Corpse's Hoodie is a good mix of kind of soft and comfy and more durable feeling, if you want to call it that. Um, this one's like, it feels like you could probably spill water on it, it'll be fine. But, like, it feels a little... It's not like that fuzzy warmness. Um, but that's not a bad thing. It's just, you know... You know. Honest review? I mean, it's not even a bad thing. I think it feels good. Uh, I'm just saying it doesn't have that soft, fuzzy feel. Which isn't, like... It's not a bad thing. It's high quality, for sure. Ludwig's first YouTube stream? Well, guys, I hate to say it. I know... I mean, he said it all in his video, so I don't think I can get in trouble for this. He did say he's getting paid more. Less hours, you don't have to run all those ads. This this was all covered in videos, so I can't, I can't get in trouble for this, right? Um, I think most people know that, you know, th there are hours, right? Um, and obviously, there's pay, and there's the weird ads thing. Guys, I can't tell you how many Twitch streams I pop up on. I get blasted with seven ads right when I open the stream, and I just leave. So, um, yeah. Um, same, it happens, guys. I mean, I... You can't blame them too much, but I'm I'm just going to say it. If you don't have some kind of uh, <clears throat> way to not see the ads, I'm pretty sure you guys remember when you were kids and you saw commercials every once in a while when you're watching like SpongeBob, and that was kind of annoying. I'm pretty sure I see more commercials on a random Twitch screens if I'm not subscribed than I do like when I was watching SpongeBob on, on television. Well, I, maybe it's just me. It probably depends on the streamer a lot. Actual, it happens. I mean, it's not like the end of the world or anything, but yeah, it's obviously not my favorite thing. Okay, here, here's the actual, uh, uh, no memes. The biggest problem with ads, guys, is it's so loud. Is it? Is it just me? I'll be watching a dude stream, perfect volume, everything's good. Ad comes on and bang, it's like super high volume, blows my ears out. And I'm just like, well, well, why did that just happen? Um, so I, I don't know, but that's that's actually my only that's my biggest complaint. It's just really loud I, I don't know why it does that, but it, it's weird agreed. Yeah guys I don't know why like it's not that bad. I, I get it. You know ads is, do things But why do they have to blow my ears out with it? Um, 
Reyna, thanks for the sub. Did you choose between the TV or projector? Uh, unfortunately, guys, the projector is no longer on sale. Um, there's a projector that was recommended to me by a friend because I, I said I mentioned I was looking for a TV. Um, and the projector was $1,000 off, which means it was still $2,500 which was a lot of money, but I was like, man, I mean, may, maybe, maybe it does seem a little convenient. They're selling me. And now that it's, it, it's off, it's $3,500 for a projector. And I'm just like, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't know about that guys. I do. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, man, guys, I'll say this. <sighs> Ludwig definitely sold out. He lost all his viewers. No one followed him to YouTube, but at least he got rich guys. But for sure, no one followed him to YouTube, right? Um, I it sucks, but I don't blame him, guys. Um, but if I've already oh, never mind. He's got like fifty-five thousand viewers. Okay, well, uh, well, clearly that didn't happen the way. So you're telling me he got paid more to get more viewers? Also, well, that's weird. That's weird how that works. Anyway, chat is more comfy here. Or what kind of Twitch chat are you looking at? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, maybe I'm not kidding. But anyway, um, sometimes, sometimes not. You know how it is. Anyway, I think they're both okay. Yeah, it's, I mean, guys, it's it's weird because I think it's the people that make the difference. Not just, uh, you know what I mean? It's not like you go on a different platform and then it's all over. Unless it's Facebook. But I didn't say that. Okay, I'm joking. Okay, guys, I feel bad. I feel bad. I have a lot of good friends on Facebook. It's literally just the chat. That's bad. I, I'm just going to say Twitch, I think, has better chats. YouTube chat's okay-ish. Um, can't improve. The Facebook chat... Guys, I saw Randy getting roasted by what I'm pretty sure was an 8-year-old. And I don't even know how this dude's watching GTA. This, this guy's backseating Randy, telling him how to be a better gangster in an 18-plus video game. And I'm pretty sure he's like 8 or something on, on his Facebook chat. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. What friends? Yeah, like Randy's there. Uh, I, I actually don't watch Mr. K. The Toast used to be there. Um, so, yeah. Why are you so... That's not I, That's not even funny. That's literally what happened, guys. I went there to support Randy, you know, good friend of ours. A um, little, little awkward, uh, but <clears throat> anyway. Okay. Cool hoodie. Thanks. It's Jody's hoodie. I don't know if it's still for sale, actually, but I do like her logo. See that? It's supposed to be like quarter... I don't know, but her logo doesn't even look like... I'm just gonna I didn't even know it was her logo. I was just like who who sent me this and then I saw Jody wearing it and I was like, oh wait uh, <laughs> So it looks good because it's very subtle and I, I think that's a good look um, So I, I like that that it's more subtle The only problem I'm just gonna say it's not glow in the dark How are you gonna make it look like this and none of it glows in the dark unbelievable? I'm just kidding not unbelievable. Maybe it's hard to get clothes that glows in the dark. I don't know But man that would be kind of cool though, wouldn't it? I'm just saying um, glow in the dark stuff on merch could be kind of cool, maybe. Um, <clears throat> saying that for no reason. You know, Yuno did have glowing shoes. Huh? What? Um, it's a hint. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> um, anyway, hints. I just want to make something that's kind of like this, actually, where it's, it's not really, like, super Saikuno looking, but I do want it to be, you know, unique in some ways. But the problem is, there's a weird balance, because if you make it too stylized, it just looks like your merch, you know? It looks like Saikuno merch, and it doesn't really look like regular clothing anymore. So you want something that's kind of regular-ish, but still different enough. It, it's a weird balance, but yeah, we'll see. Um, your merch is going to run out so fast. Um, we might be able to do some kind of pre-order system, I'm not sure. Um, I think the most important thing for me is to figure out a system where you can order it, and hopefully get it in less than like a month or something like that. Because a lot of times when people do full pre-orders, they can't get it out fast enough. You have to wait three months before you get it, which I think is weird. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, I would wait a year if I have to. Well, I don't want you guys to wait a year. I want you guys to like have it, wear it, and hopefully be comfortable. Um, so, something like that. Yeah, guys, I I've got a, a secret trick, okay? Um... It's going to be kind of cold, so I'm going to bring hoodies. And I'm only going to bring, like, two hoodies and just change... Yeah, people are going to judge me for this, but I wear hoodies without washing them every time. I don't know if that's weird. But, like, I, I always change, like, the inside. Does that make sense? But, like, hoodies, I'll wear more than once. I, I don't know. Uh, I think it's fine. 
Um, some people think it's weird to champ, but I think it's fine to wear hoodies more than once without washing them. Um, same with like jeans and stuff. Uh, unless they get dirty or something weird happens, uh, I think it's perfectly fine. Um, so that's just what I think. I do think it's really weird to not like change your underwear or something though. Um, but that's weird. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's weird. So is wearing shoes when you go to bed. That's really weird. Seeing people sleep with shoes on, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, Mochi, thanks for the sub. Who does that? I legit have seen it before. I'm, I'm not gonna expose anybody. I've seen people just walk in to the hotel room and just lay down in bed with their shoes on. It cover the blanket over it. And I'm just like, I, I, I don't wanna judge anybody. Okay, I don't wanna judge anyone, but they'll just walk in I get in bed and put the blanket over their shoes and I'm just like well that was weird <laughs> um but anyway guys guys I'm never gonna expose who that is it's never gonna expose it but I'll say I've seen it before and it definitely caught me off guard um wearing shoes in the house is weird I will say I've seen people wear shoes in the house but I don't think it's weird because uh some shoes you have to break in you know those shoes that like leather or something you have to break them in if they're brand new and you're just trying to break them in and you just wear it around the house for a bit, I think there's no problem with that. Um, I, I think, you know, I, I've seen people get like the back of their ankle get cut by shoes they haven't broken in. I think it's perfectly fine to do that, I feel like, but um, yeah. Why does it seem like a Michael thing? I don't think Michael wears shoes in the house. He's, uh, I, I'm pretty sure Michael doesn't wear shoes sometimes. He doesn't even wear shoes outside the house sometimes, at least when I lived with him. <laughs> um, Lamau, I'm just saying, and there's nothing wrong with that. I, I don't care. Um, but, yeah. Um, he's from Hawaii. Guys, I saw him whip a cockroach before. Is that weird to say? <laughs> I don't know. Um, what? Whip? Yeah, guys, I do I even tell this story? I probably shouldn't, but... <laughs> anyway. Um, all right. He whipped the cut. He did, yeah, but, I mean, story time? Guys, it's not too much of a story. I mean, we live in L.A. L.A. is, you know, it's got, you know, rats and cockroaches. That's how it is there. Um, so, yeah. And then, you know, if, they, if they're if they around and you don't like them, then you, you know, you, you get rid of them. And that's pretty much most of the story. Nothing crazy. You kill the... Uh, you can. I mean, some people don't. So I'm not going to say right or wrong on that.